Celebrities love to throw shade. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shadiest moments on Watch What Happens Live. For this list, we'll be looking at celeb appearances on Andy Cohen's talk show that resulted in shade being thrown towards other celebs. Let's dive right into the cattiness. Number 10. Christina Aguilera on Eminem When Aguilera appeared on the show, she was subject to Cohen's segment Plead the Fifth, in which hard-hitting questions are asked in a short amount of time. Why do you think he has held on to this beef with you for so long? <sighs> <laughs> That's a question for him to answer. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Cohen asked Aguilera how she felt towards Eminem, who has used her name in at least two songs, The Real Slim Shady in 2000 and A Freestyle in 2018. We have to see the shade she throws as a little justified, however, as in the first song, Eminem refers to her promiscuity amongst peers, and in the second, crudely refers to her breasts, among other inappropriate comments. You surprised really last year when your name was on his lips again? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that's real thirsty. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. That that's real in the past, and you know, it was thirsty then, it's thirsty now. Aguilera refers to the rapper as thirsty, yet in this case, we take it to mean desperate for attention more than anything else. You know, to, it's 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 not nice to go after anybody, especially a female, and in this business, and now what we're looking at and seeing and things that are coming to the forefront, it's just, you know, get a new gig, you know, have something else to talk about. Number nine, Nini leaks on fellow real housewives of Atlanta. Atlanta wives. When Nini Leakes appeared on the show, she was basically handed the opportunity to throw shade on a silver platter. Sheree is saying that she would never tell me anything. I wouldn't be the one, two, three, four, five, one hundred. Well, I would tell you right away the wig is a no. A video of the Real Housewives of Atlanta was shown, with the wives gossiping about Nini behind her back. Andy Cohen then asked her if she wanted to respond, and of course she obliged. If I were in love, Nene would not be the first person Her I would tell about. Is too or, much. She proceeded to rattle off all of the insults she'd just watched and responded to each in a rapid fire of shade bullets. On top of this shade, when the video was shown, Nini appeared in the corner of the screen, reacting to the footage as it played, in the style of a sports commentator. It was basically a shade a thon. I have not talked to Nini in almost two years because she sounds like a whole a totally different person. Okay. Look like one, sound like one. <laughs> I really didn't even know that she was there. I thought she was like part of the decoration. Nene's nose she looked different too. Yes, she, she did cut off half her nose, but <laughs> the one that's still left is quite big. That's nosy Nene. Number eight, Wendy Williams on Lisa Vanderpump. Oh, the housewives, a constant source of shade. My question is, how do you feel about Lisa Vanderpump leaving Beverly Hills? Who? When a caller to the show asked her about her thoughts on Lisa Vanderpump, Williams immediately responded with who? She then went on to imply that all of these housewives are essentially replaceable, with one taking the spotlight only to be replaced by another after the former's 15 minutes of fame have passed. The thing is, is that I love Lisa Vanderpump, but these housewives, like people don't understand, me, you, everybody is replaceable. and. I think that Camille Grammer has come in and put the hammer down. Williams ends the quick rant with, I don't care. We can't disagree with Williams here, as every week there seems to be a new kid on the posh housewives block. Let's call this justified shade. I think that Lisa Renner is a, is a formidable opponent. I, you know, like Lisa Vanderpump, I don't care. Number seven, 50 Cent on Jay-Z. Rapper feuds are a dime a dozen, and they also make the occasional appearance on talk shows. Is it scary at all? No, you just have to have an expression on your face like, what the is the matter with you? Okay. When 50 Cent appeared on Watch What Happens Live, he too was given the opportunity to play Plead the Fifth. He answered the other questions as politely as he could, and made the audience laugh more than once. Did you date? No. No. I just took pictures. <laughs> And we, we took pictures with each other like in uh, Australia yeah. at the MTV Award and oh. I put the post a picture so oh, okay. you know social network and people say all kinds of things. Oh okay, okay. When asked which hip hop star he considered to be overrated, he said Jay-Z. Although he followed it up by saying Jay-Z himself would admit this. Who is the most overrated hip hop star of all time? Overrated? Yeah. Um, I mean, Jay-Z, he would say he was overrated. Rather be overrated than underpaid. 50 Cent might seem tough in his music, but he's always a bit of a charmer on talk shows. His shade towards Jay-Z didn't even sound rude or insulting. Number six, Zoe Kravitz on Lily Allen. Zoe clearly isn't a fan of Lily Allen. Allen had recently written a book detailing her tour with Kravitz's band Lola Wolf. 
She claimed that the two grew close and ended up kissing. Kravitz clearly had a different version of the story and was compelled to say so following a viewer's question. I was wondering if Lily Allen warned you that she was going to write about the two of you kissing in her autobiography and how did that come about? Who's Lily Allen? Reminiscent of our Wendy Williams entry, Kravitz began by saying, who's Lily Allen? She then went on to say that Allen didn't kiss her, but actually attacked her with the kiss. Oh, by no, kiss, no, no, if her. by kissing she means like attacking, then yes. Oh. She kissed me. Oh. I don't like this. She attacked me. When Cohen asked her if she'd read the book, she said she didn't think anybody had read the book. Now that is some serious shade. Did you read the book? I don't think anybody read the book. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Number five, Billy Porter on Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey's 2014 Rockefeller Center tree lighting performance is implanted in the memories of everyone at this point as a complete disaster. Billy Porter himself performed at the event, and when a caller asked him what the vibe was like following the infamous Carey performance, he simply put his head back and awkwardly smiled. <laughs> he then went on to say that the situation was pandemonium all day, and those present for the event and its preparations were not surprised by the dismal result. It was pandemonium all day though. Really? Let me just say, it was not, it didn't look cute from the beginning. This leaves much to the imagination, but we can tell Porter is being as polite as possible and Cohen moves on before he can add anything more. <laughs> it was not a surprise to those of us who had been there all day. <laughs> Number four, Paris Hilton on Lindsay Lohan. Paris Hilton had her own turn in the Plead the Fifth hot seat and was asked to say three nice things about her then enemy Lindsay Lohan. Paris. You've recently said that you never want Lindsay Lohan's name spoken in the same sentence as yours. Paris, say three nice things about Lindsay Lohan. We can see the seething hatred in her expression before Cohen even finishes his sentence, and it's then followed by an awkward pause. She's beyond. Okay, that's one. That's, that's, that's a pretty two. nice one to say that she's beyond. Lame. And embarrassing. Lit. We're not sure about that first one, it could go either way. Paris Hilton's lingo can be confusing at times, but we're sure she would have given far more colorful adjectives had she not been on live television. Number three, Patti Lupone on Madonna. Now here's a woman who doesn't hold back. I did meet her after her opening night party, and the only thing that Madonna has ever said to me was, I'm taller than you. Patti Lupone is a Broadway actress and has performed as Eva Peron on stage, as Madonna did in the film adaptation. When Cohen asked her what she thought of Madge's performance in the film, she seemed to pause for a second and consider her answer, but then just decided to speak her mind. What did you think of her role in Evita? Well, I was on the <laughs> treadmill, and I would, you know, when MTV used to have videos, yes. right? And I saw. I believe it was Buenos Aires, and I thought it was a piece of sh**. <laughs> she called Madonna's Evita a piece of crap, and then went on to call the singer a movie killer, criticized her acting, and claimed she should stay away from film and stage, in an acting capacity, as she is not an actress. Ouch. Madonna is a movie killer. She's dead behind the eyes. She cannot act her way out of a paper bag. She should not be on in, in, in film or on stage. She, she's a wonderful, you know, performer for what she does, but she is not an actress. Number two, Naomi Campbell on Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Naomi Campbell is definitely not known for her modesty or for keeping her thoughts to herself. And I'm gonna say it because I told it to Karine Rockford to her face, so I don't think it's something I can't say. At New York Fashion Week, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B had an altercation at the Harper's Bazaar Icons After Party, which resulted in Cardi B being escorted out, sporting a bump on her forehead. Campbell was asked for her thoughts on the situation. What did you think about Nicki and Cardi's uh, altercation at Fashion Week, where you, you were at that party, right? No, it was called the Icon Party, but there were no icons there. Ouch. She then went on to express her disappointment in the two women. Campbell was equally shady when asked about Kendall Jenner. Peter the Meteor wants to know your views on Kendall Jenner being the highest paid model while saying she cherry picks her jobs and could never do 30 shows in a season. Next question. We kind of expect this from her at this point. Before we unveil our most scathing number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Kate Walsh on Grey's Anatomy Jumping the Shark. Name a time when you thought Shonda jumped the shark on one of her shows. Oh my gosh. Um, I, this is so hard. I mean, 
I guess you could argue the bomb episode, but that was like the one that made it everything, that made yeah. it Grey's Anatomy. Yes. So I'd say she jumped that shark, but then we rode it all the way to the top. Adriana Lima denies dating Justin Bieber and disses his height. I'm gonna tell you this. Anybody oh, below 6'7", you know how I call them? Friends. Kenya Moore and Michael Rapaport throw shade at each other. <laughs> you, you, you wish you were me, Kenya. Um. Oh! <laughs> A middle-aged fat white guy. Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> Jenna Dewan disses Beyonce's early dance walk. Okay, y'all are gonna all kill me, but back in the day, Beyonce did that. Really? But now oh, yes. she walks like perfectly right. through her heels. But right. remember, like back in the day, I would always be like, why are we walking like that in heels? The whole world is about to come for me right yeah. now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Mariah Carey on Jennifer Lopez. She says you know her. Okay, I know she, you know what, I'm very forgetful. Mariah Carey is a character. After an interview in which she claimed not to know Jennifer Lopez, Carey was asked again if she knew J-Lo. When you were last on, I, there was the moment where you said, I don't know her. And then that she said, I so know her. Ago, I can't believe people still make such a big deal I out know, of but it. but do you know each other? No! No. She once again repeated that she did not and went on to say that the two have only shaken hands and politely greeted each other. I'm forgetful. Yes. Because I don't remember the fact that it was just like, hi, I'm so-and-so, and then move on. And then like, hi, that's it. Right. If I had never had a conversation with you and someone asked me about you, I'd be like, I don't know him, but he seems cool. However, Carrie is known for being quite the diva, as can be seen in other WWHL appearances where she makes comments on Demi Lovato and Ariana Grande. What about Ariana Grande, do you know her? No. Lopez has apparently claimed that the two do in fact know each other. Confused? So are we. But Carrie stands her ground on not being in the know with JLo. And this can be seen as shady, as she is adamant in her denial, and it appears a little condescending. Does she seem cool? I don't know her. Right. Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, I'm not gonna put on a thing like, oh, we're all Hollywood, and let's just let's just all pretend we're best friends because like we're on in that land. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.